Hello. Thank you for coming to my site. I I have a Lexio Divina series that I have begun since school has been out. I'm a teacher. And so I'd like you to join me as often as you can for Lexio Divina. My name is Janet Robinson. Now, if you, I know that most of you who come here know what Lexio Divina is, but I made a little diagram just to say that all of this that we're doing in Lexio Divina is being surrounded, or is all, the Holy Spirit is an integral part of all of it. So reading, reflections, meditations, reflections and meditations are pretty much the same in this system and then the prayer a conversation with God and then contemplation which is silent prayer in which you sit silently for 15 to 20 to 30 minutes and wait for God to speak to your heart our reading for today is 1 Corinthians 13 1 through 7 if I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith, so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all that I have, and if I deliver my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. In our reflection right now, think about what God is saying in this passage. What is the gist of it, do you think? And also reflect on whether any images came to you as you were listening to this I will give you 30 seconds but remember if you are journaling your replies or just need longer you can go ahead and go up to the stop button and stop the video till you're ready all right let's reflect If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all that I have, and I deliver my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on having its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Now, in our reflection, I want to remind you that most of you have been to Bible studies in which 
someone explains these verses to you or someone teaches these. The purpose of Lexio Divina is different. It's meant to be much more personal. So that's why these are reflections that you are having based on the reading. It is God speaking to you through these verses. So in the second reflection, think about what specifically God seems to be saying to you today from these seven verses. All right, let's reflect. Let's move on to the next stage of Lexio Divina, the Oratio, the prayer to the Lord. This is time for a conversation with God. So I'm going to say my prayer, but feel free to stop and then have your own conversation with God. Our next prayer is contemplation. In contemplation, we don't speak. God speaks to us. So let's do our conversation with God now. Oh Lord, in reading this passage, I keep thinking of how I fall short. It doesn't seem to matter what else we can do, what we achieve, even all the good things we can possibly do. If we don't have love in our heart for other people, then it's all to no avail. I ask you to help me have love in my heart because I come up short. I come up short all the time. Let your love flow through me to other people because my supply of it by myself is fairly minimal. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Contemplation is listening to God. The Holy Spirit writes on our hearts. We don't understand today, but the fruits of the Spirit become more active in our life. It's hidden grace. All right, so we're going to sit silently for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, if you can sit that long. All right, if you can't sit that long, just come out of this and you can read what's on the slide about what are the difficulties in sitting in silence. All right. And the other thing that I would like you to do is stop this video as soon as the bells, the starting bells ring, because then as you can meditate for whatever length you can, and then you can read the slide, etc. if you want, and then you can turn it back on for the ending bells, and then I will talk more about what's going on in contemplation. Okay? Let's begin contemplation, resting in God. Hello, welcome back. Wow. 
Well, here we are after contemplation. What should have happened? So, first I want to say, I was contemplating while you were. So, what's interesting is that I feel like I'm with you. And we know probably from during this pandemic that we've spent so much time uh, functioning online with other people that maybe um, um, we kind of realized that we can have some of the same um, responses even though we're not in face-to-face -face contact with people. So even though I can't see your faces, I have a sense of you being there and that I'm not alone. So that has been an unexpected benefit for me in doing these together. What should have happened? Well, I've said before that one of the problems that many people say, or one of the issues is, they say, well, nothing happened. What should have happened? Well, first of all, yes, you have been with the Holy Spirit. That's where you've been. So you've been surrounded with the Holy Spirit, and of course we always are, but we're not aware of it. So this time, as you sat there in the presence of God, you were probably much more aware of the Holy Spirit's presence. And the Holy Spirit, God gave to us as the Comforter, and the Holy Spirit is, of course, supernatural. We believe that the super, that the Holy Spirit is with us. Secondly, God has spoken to your heart. The heart, however, has neither ears nor eyes. So when God speaks to our heart, we don't hear Him speaking most of the time. And if He's writing on our heart, it's not in the language that we understand. All right, so that is the reason people think, well, nothing has happened. But if you have faith that God is with you and that God wishes to communicate with you, then believe that God has spoken to your heart. However, there is a test. So the third one is, today you receive some gifts of the Spirit. And I can tell you, you maybe can't tell because it's so small, it's imperceptible. But if you practice silence often, this resting in God in silence, the gifts become more obvious over a period of time. You notice that you yourself and your behavior and perhaps your attitude is changing and for the better. All right, so those are some serious benefits from what should happen? The gifts of the Spirit. Compassion. Love. Kindness. Generosity. And what's more, it's coming from the heart. It's coming from God's love flowing through us. Now, people who c contemplate, who are famous, are called mystics. So I call myself an ordinary mystic. I don't have sensational things happening to me, but I do have the Holy Spirit operating in my life. So what the mystics in, in long tradition, remember I told you that Lexio Divina is an old tradition. All right, from the first part of the church and um, contemplation is also a very ancient practice from the first of the Christian church. And all of us, regardless of what our Christian denomination is now, are descended from these people in the early church. So this is the heritage that belongs to all of us. All the mystics say, if you ask what is the key thing that you know that has been revealed to you, they say over and over that God is love. God is love. That is what they know about God. To the core of their being, God is love. So I want to end on that note. I hope to be able to talk to you later. All right, so... 
Thanks for being here with me today. Come again, please. I would love to be in another devotional Lectio Divina with you. Bye.